so hello everybody uh, this is one simple DIY project I have taken up again it's a, a USB controller for a simulator so the plan is to use it either with uh, this uh, Falcon 4 BMS or this year's uh, Viper module so initial plan for this started some 10 years back but yeah due to many restrictions I couldn't execute it I did once but in a very small scale that was in some maybe 90s 2008 or 9 somewhere around there time I did one a small project but yeah there was a miniature panel of uh, this ICP and the MFD without the screen obviously so this time I'm trying to make a real life scale model a functional model a controller which will replicate this uh, panel we are seeing over here this is the ICP panel um, so yeah so this is the ICP panel and these are the MFDs but for this time I'm going to replicate one to one scale of this ICP panel and if you see uh, yeah it has lots of buttons and some dials some four-way switch uh, three-way toggles and a few rockers so I'll be using uh, acrylics different type of acrylics but basically 3mm to generate the panels and the buttons will be carved out of uh, acrylic sheets rods or tubes whatever available so like uh, in this simulator if you see uh, like uh, basically most of the uh, controls or configuration you do in the flight is controlled by this uh, ICP is called integrated control panel so if I want to change let's say the communication frequency COM1 I do it from here choose the frequency number or the saved uh, channels and then you can load it or I want to say COM2 then this is uh, IFF then we have got like list various sub functions I can go so it's like a mini computer you have on your com flight it controls various functions various uh, countermeasure settings everything can be controlled from here the way you drop the bombs salvos multiple drops interval all those uh, can be configured mostly from here and uh, I guess uh, yeah some of the weapons are controlled from the M MFD panels and uh, some of the uh, countermeasure stuff are controlled from this uh, ICP panels. Okay, I think I need to put on the throttle. I that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just yeah. Cool. Uh, let's pause this. Let's move ahead. Uh, so coming to next. Uh, so the plan was okay. How do I start? I need a real dimension or you can say I need a real scale uh, information so from online I somehow got the SketchUp model and uh, this was the model I got from online and I'm using uh, SketchUp 2017 I think that's the only free model available for non-commercial use and then I started I got this top, temp, uh, top panels with the dimensions if I turn on the uh, measurements I can see all the dimensions so the dimensions was brought into uh, an editing software like Inkscape or GIMP and then I print them out at one to one scale and then it stuck over uh, acrylic sheets and then did the cutouts using uh, drills and uh, cutters I wish I had a 3D printer they would have made my life much simpler but yeah either way it takes time and more chance of uh, you know, making mistakes <laughs> So I'll be obviously modeling the potentiometers, trying to see the size of the knobs and all because I couldn't get the size of the knob. So I was using uh, this application to determine the size of the knobs. And obviously these are a layer of two uh, acrylic sheets. One is uh, opaque white and one is a transparent below. And the plan is I'll paint it black on top and then uh, and 
kind of uh, adds the uh, letterings for the pendants okay now obviously this requires a bit of planning because I don't want to make a mistake while doing so so I had to uh, rely on a few uh, applications to do the prototyping digital prototyping I would say so I have got this uh, in Inkscape where it's a 3d vector application again it's a freeware free to use software freeware so uh, yeah can do lots of cool stuff here it's completely vector based application and uh, okay coming over to Inkscape where did I left it over yeah, so I'll be using uh, Arduino Pro Micro, which can act as a USB controller also by using the uh, like a, like a Arduino joystick uh, library. And here I'm using Arduino joystick library as well as the keypad library. So the plan is now I have got around I don't know I forgot to count some 23 buttons, some toggles, and some four-way switches. So it comes to around 30 plus uh, switch configuration and four potentiometers so obviously the Arduino Pro Micro doesn't have that many inputs the plan is I'll be using all the buttons and toggles will be driven by a 4x8 matrix uh, keypad configuration so I have pulled up four pins of the Arduino for uh, rows and the eight for the columns and through matrix uh, configuration I can uh, uh, get access to all the status of each and every buttons and the switches so and also i'll be using one of the knobs uh, probably the cont one on the right bottom here this will be uh, used to control the brightness of the panel and obviously i'll be using around uh, 16 to 17 or 20 green leds underneath to backlit the entire panels and the buttons so this is a basic uh, like uh, to show that I understand where which buttons are connected to and above that uh, I also started working on this circuitry um, let me just bring up the circuitry yeah so this is a kind of uh, the PCB uh, which I am using which will be like 10 centimeter to 10 mm one centimeter below the uh, acrylic uh, plates with a spacer of uh, 10 mm i'll be using this circuit board this is a parent board and there'll be one auxiliary or pro micro board which will be kind of uh, having the processor already know that um, microprocessor as well as the all the inputs through these boards would be to the child board i would say rather that's called a child board for some reason but yeah that's uh, my way of naming it but yeah this is the primary board where all the buttons will be there and here I kind of uh, mark where the buttons the 5mm buttons or will be uh, placed five minutes, i think the smallest whatever button it is and uh, then the place for the spacers the approximate mounting hole for the spacers and some cutouts so that i can have the potentiometer placed and basically and these are all the LEDs I was talking about with their resistors and also coming over uh, the wearings so yeah so this is the okay so and there is also another um, application I'm using uh, which is the circuit maker uh, that I'll come in details when I start working on the PCB board there I'm designing the uh, PCBs, uh, the uh, circuits, or you can say the PCB layout. But here it's just for me to have a visual understanding where the buttons are. So that while I started soldering them, um, I know where it is. Okay, coming. I'll just show you to uh, like a progress I made so far through a video. So let me bring up the video. So let's see where is it. So if you see, uh, it's a acrylic white 3mm panel where I did stub the uh, or stick the one to one scale printout and then I'm drilling holes wherever necessary. Even the square blocks holes are initially drilled hole and then using a, a router I'm just routing it off 
two squares. So let me just play you through a few of the recordings of the initial uh, progress. Yeah, so here I'm dropping the all. So once one layer is done, then I stick the second layer, which is the second layer credit, and then again the same process goes. And then uh, go through a cleaner process. Some filing to clean the bed edges. And uh, yeah, and this is a simple test I did uh, with uh, another Arduino just to because I'm going to light around 17 to 18 uh, LEDs and I don't think Arduino had that much of a milliamp available to drive all the 17 LEDs so I'll be driving it through a separate uh, LiPo battery or a 5 volt uh, USB uh, cable through a USB adapter or something so to use that I'm using a PNP and NPN configuration so one of the Arduino pin will be doing a running a PWM signals and it will drive the NPN transistor which is a smaller weighted transistor and then I have a PNP transistor which is I forgot the number but it's um, it has capacity of up to 1.5 amp but I think I'll be using around 5 to 600 milliamps so it's good enough and because PNP use a sync uh, like the uh, signal the voltage is synced so that uh, it can start transmitting the current so for that I have to use this NPN uh, and Arduino obviously is not good at syncing voltage it's good at uh, you know providing some positive voltages so I'm using NPN to uh, act as a sync and uh, then yeah with this configuration uh, I will be able to date uh, around 17 18 here I'm just uh, for test purpose I just did two LEDs all in uh, parallel with the resistors okay moving ahead more of these letters I will go through so moving ahead yeah this was few tests uh, blinking test and then another uh, hurdle I faced was with this uh, four-way joystick or you know, we say five way with the push button I initially thought it would be bigger enough to mount on a zero PCB but turns out to be this is less than one centimeter in length and it's a uh, surface mounted mounted uh, module so it was so tiny that uh, i had to come up with a way to create a breakout board for this so i have few of the uh, copper plated pcbs lying around ready all one as you can see from the images uh so yeah technically i kind of found the dimensions mark the uh, contact points and as you can see from these videos which will be quite clear I'm trying to uh, cut out the disconnects in the circuit like yeah so I'm just going to create disconnect between its contact points by uh, like literally carving out the coppers and here is the kind of a uh, final product I have which I'll be cutting off at these edges to get a uh, breakout module and here I'll be connecting all the connector pins and so now each and every connection points are individually accessed so this is another way of making uh, circuit boards which we if we don't have an etching uh, solution but yeah a little bit of tedious when you have to go really you know at a very small scale the chance of making mistakes is used yeah so this is the final product of the pcb board uh, micro i would say breakout for the, for the four way switch now i guess uh, yeah for now i think uh, this is all i have and there are a few other stuff i have moved ahead with the pcbs and all but maybe i'll show that in the next video so for today i'll wrap it here and hope to upload the next video soon and again i'm trying to make this video without any edit in a go so eventually maybe i'll do a live session next time uh, it's just a practice for me to do uh, because i don't want to i really don't have time to put this all these videos through a uh, editor and then uh, <laughs> get a video out so i'm just hoping i just record on the fly so i might have met a few blunders here and there but i guess that's okay and hope to see you again in the next video see you bye